Let me just start off by saying I'm not a fan of my arcade. I'm just going to put it out there for you guys. Not a big fan. Bought one of their products in the past. Thought it was complete garbage. $30 wasted. Saw that they released these new My Arcade Galaga joystick players. I pre-ordered one eons ago because although this really isn't the traditional way to play Galaga, is it something new? Is it something different? Is it something exciting? Will this get me actually interested in their products? I mean, something that I found uh, nice is we do have some brightness settings right there for the monitor. We have USB-C. We have a headphone jack speaker on the back. You're able to power this thing through a USB-C cable, volume up and down right there on the top, on off switch as well. Or you could go the traditional route and throw four AA batteries in there, which is how I'm gonna power this thing during this video. The control panel now, instead of having joystick and buttons, has a home button, a credit button, a player one start and a player two start button. The bezel on this thing is pretty crappy in my opinion. Doesn't look anything like a Galaga bezel, but hey, give them an effort for trying. Marquees don't light up, things like that. Again, these are supposed to be really low-end units, but they're charging 50 bucks for this thing. And it's supposed to come with a joystick with a trigger button on it, kind of like a flight stick to use. Now, what's interesting is Galaga is a two-way game, yet we have a four-way joystick on here. I could feel all four micro switches, and you can actually move the joystick in all the directions. There's also a bit of a dead zone here before you actually engage the micro switch, which actually, when it comes to very tight tur tight changes in directions when you're playing actually hinders some gameplay. The joystick design itself was pretty cool. I love the Galaga ship on top. And when it comes to the trigger button, the trigger button actually, although it doesn't have any kind of clickiness to it, actually works and it works pretty well. Overall, from a design standpoint, it's just weird, but it works. I unboxed this thing live on Michael B. The Game Genie's Chill and Chat show last Monday. Here I am tinkering with the brightness settings. There's three setting, ultra bright, low, and medium. For the sake of trying to capture this 3.2 inch screen on camera, we'll have to go with the low setting. And let me just tell you right off the bat, this monitor, this little 3.2 inch screen, absolutely sucks. Yeah, it looks worse on camera than it does in person, but even in person, it looks terrible. One nice thing to see from my arcade versus the last time I bought a product from them a couple years ago is that they're actually using real arcade ROMs. So you could actually play the real Galga or the real Galaxian because there are two games included. If you want to switch games, all you have to do is hit the home button. I figured, hey, maybe they save high scores. No, they don't. Every single time you turn the unit off, it does not save your high scores, which is a total miss in my opinion. Haven't seen any of my Galga or Galaxian's high scores save. And I figured if that could be like the cheapest thing to make happen. And you don't even get to do that on this unit. And you'll notice that I have my hand holding this thing in place. The way this thing is set up and the weight of it, because this thing is very, very light, very, very light. If you're actually going to be yanking left and right on the flight stick, you're going to be moving this console all over the place. It's going to slide all over your table and stuff. And this table that I'm using even has a padded surface on it and it's still sliding all over the place. You actually do have to hold the console with both hands to actually play this thing. I figured even though I kind of crapped all over this on Michael B's show, I figured, you know what, I'll spend a little bit more time with it, and maybe if I spend more time with it, I can appreciate it more. I can tell you this much, this isn't the way to play Galaga. Everybody knows that. You gotta play Galaga with joysticks and the buttons. Why they went, if they want to go a flight stick route, why they didn't choose a game that actually uses a flight stick is beyond me. I have to give my arcade props for being a little bit innovative and creative, trying to think outside the box, but in all honesty, they've released the Galaga cab before, from what I can tell looking online, with just joystick and buttons, and I probably would have preferred that one for a cheaper price than this $50 product. Another nice thing about the flight stick is it doesn't impede your view of the machine. This is if I actually have this uh, camera at my chest level. Look, sitting down in front of this thing, looking down at it, the flight stick doesn't cover your view of the screen. So at least they have it far enough away where it doesn't impede your view. And yeah, it works, and it's possible to play, but in my opinion, these are those ultra, ultra cheap, ultra low-end products that I'm just not the target customer for. You know, I'd rather have something from Numskull, New Wave Toys, you know, if I'm going to spend money on a micro arcade. But hey man, they put the real arcade ROMs, and even though it's just got that one speaker in the back, it actually sounds pretty, pretty good. And you can play on it, but it's one of those things you're going to play on it once, maybe never again. 
maybe you actually like collecting these and putting them on display in your room and and, and maybe you're the target customer for these uh, even though they don't look anything like what the original arcades look like but if you are interested in these they're fifty dollars in my opinion even with the flight stick here this should have been 30 bucks or less like 29.99 but if you are interested, I'll have the Amazon link uh, in the video description below where you can pick one of these up. Uh, in my opinion, I'm just not happy enough to highly recommend the product. But I know there's a market out there. I know some of you guys really like these. And maybe I'll come back in another year or two and see what the next batch of my arcade mini consoles look like. But in my opinion, this, this just isn't for me. And uh, I'm glad I waited two years before I bought one. And maybe I'll wait another year or two before I get another. Leave me your comments, feedback, reactions below. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review. And uh, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.